Hey everybody, so my name is Ashley Garcia. I am a certified personal trainer both with NASM and I'm also a certified nutrition coach through NASM as well as a certified personal trainer level two through a company called Show Up Fitness as well as their nutrition coaching certification as well. And I'm just drinking a little bit of my happy cortisol cocktail here. Anyway gives me energy, lifts my brain fog. But the reason I'm coming to you today is because I wanted to give you a couple of tips on how I passed NASM. I got the textbook and I was super excited to start my personal training career after having years of wanting to be in health and fitness. I was actually a collegiate volleyball player and I had a lot of wear and tear on my body shoulder surgery, broken ankle. And after I had my daughter, I kind of lost sight of what I wanted to do and kind of lost my identity a little bit. Any of you moms out there, you can probably relate to that. And so eventually I got to a point where I wanted to get back into the workforce and I really wanted to pursue my passion in health and fitness. So I did. And I started Googling what was the gold standard for personal training. And of course, the ads on Google popped up for NASM and I added to cart. I got an elite bundle, spent thousands of dollars thinking, okay, this is the path. And what I found is that I got really stuck. I, I tried to study for six months. I couldn't get past chapter five. This huge 800 plus page book was so confusing and overwhelming. I wasn't retaining any of the information and I just felt lost. And so a summer passed after that and I started researching on YouTube tips to pass and I found Show Up Fitness. And I got their study guide and I studied for two weeks with that study guide and passed on my first try. And now after a year and a half later, I have built my book of business. I'm training online. I'm training in person. I know anatomy. I know programming. And I'm helping aspiring trainers uh, get their certifications, their textbook certifications if they need them to work in a gym. But also I'm showing them the way in that you really do need an internship and a mentorship uh, to continue in your career. It's, I think the stat is 90% of trainers quit after the first year and it's so sad. And so um, I've really stepped into this role of helping other trainers find their way too. And so I wanna give you a few things that I know has helped um, the hundreds of people that I have passed, as well as my personal tutoring clients that I work with, um, which I have an almost 100% pass rate with them. And these things really work. So I'm gonna go through some of them here. The first thing I did, um, in, in addition to getting the Show Up Fitness Study Guide, was I got the book, How to Become a Successful Personal Trainer, written by Chris Hitchko. Um, they have helped over 4,500 people pass. Um, I've actually partnered with Show Up Fitness now. I'm, I'm one of the uh, instructors there, which has been really, really cool. And it's an amazing program. They have a podcast, a free podcast that you can listen to, to not only know how to pass a NASM or whatever textbook certification you're looking to get, but it actually helps you understand how to build a book of business and the realities of the fitness industry. They have a study guide and an audio book. So whatever your style of learning is, I know that I'm visual, most people are visual. I need to hear it, I need to see it, I need to say it, I need to write it. These are all things that um, you can do through the Show Up Fitness offerings and the resources that they have. I haven't found another program or tutor out there that offers what Show Up Fitness and we offer. But the first thing is don't read the textbook. That 800 plus page textbook isn't gonna tell you the, the meat and potatoes of what you need to pass. In addition to the majority of the information in there, a lot of it has been scientifically debunked and it's not necessarily gonna take you into your career um, successfully. Number two, don't take the quizzes. They have this online platform through NASM that has quiz after quiz after quiz after quiz after every single chapter. And it just confuses you when you show up for the exam and none of that stuff is on it. <laughs> okay, so don't overwhelm yourself with too many resources and information. You need to know the top topics to pass and we can provide that to you through Show Up Fitness. Um, and I found that the information in that study guide and the YouTube videos that were on the Show Up Fitness channel 
it was everything that I needed to pass. <laughs> so if you do end up wanting to read the book, that's, that's fine. You're going to probably want to. You don't need to in order to pass. Don't read chapters 1 through 2. Don't read chapters 6 through 10 or 15 through 20. Okay, that stuff is just a bunch of fluff that you don't necessarily need to know to train a client anyway. So you're not going to take that information with you into the gym when you're training clients. Okay, what you really, really want to know is the chapters after that. That's the meat and potatoes of the topics that you're going to need to know to pass. At least that's what I have found to be true. Um, don't take six months to read the book and to pass. That is money that you are leaving on the table. You need to be in an internship or a mentorship so that while you're learning, you can actually bringing, be bringing money in, okay? We, I know that with my clients and the aspiring trainers I work with, I want you to be able to pay your bills, to bring food home and put it on the table for your family. And so you don't necessarily need to be studying and waiting and then getting an extra specialization after that to be qualified. You need to know anatomy, you need to know programming, you need to know how to build a book of business, you need to know how to build a resume, how to interview, and these are all things that the Show Up Fitness platform and program offers you. We will help you build your resume. We will help you know what to say when you go into Lifetime, Equinox, some of the nicest gyms in the country that we actually have partnerships with. We prepare you how to go in qualified as a trainer and be able to bring in the money for your honey. Okay. <laughs> um, the last thing I would say is you kind of need a cheat sheet. Not cheating, but we have a document that we can send you that gives you a lot of the topics, the main stuff that you would need to know, such as overactive and underactive muscles, the overhead squat assessment, the OPT model, all of the acute vari variables around that, um, the kinetic chain point, some of the assessments that they're going to have on the exam. Like those are the things that you're going to find us giving you information on. Okay. Um, stages of change and, um, you know, how to tactically cue, how to progress and regress a client. Like those are things that are actually things that you need to know when you train. <laughs> and so that's what is going, uh, could possibly be on your exam. That's what we've seen the most um, when people ask us, you know, and come back to us and say, hey, listen, like this is how it went. And we're so happy for them to be able to look at our exam question examples of what you might see and then, you know, say that that was successful for them. So a couple things that I have found that I have learned from uh, not only taking the Show Up Fitness curriculum, but also now what we teach, which is amazing, trade skills, business skills, things that you can take with you into your career and look polished and professional, um, knowing how to combat ob objections when people talk to you about your pricing for your programs, getting clients, both one-on-one -on -one um, and online, like how to build an online business. A lot of aspiring trainers, they want to know how to build their online business. And the textbook doesn't necessarily prepare you for that, but Show Up Fitness does. Uh, your resume, how to build your resume, how to walk into an interview with confidence and be able to sell yourself and brand yourself the way that you want to. Um, to be able to narrow down a demographic and target market that you might want to serve with your platform. Like those are things that we help you identify so that you can walk into the industry prepared. And then, um, you know, connecting with registered dietitians and physical therapists and bringing those people onto your team so that you can refer outside of your scope of practice and create multiple streams of income. Those are all amazing things that um, I have found through becoming a personal trainer and now practicing as a personal trainer and growing and scaling my business. So I hope that these tips were helpful for you. If you wanna know more about uh, what I can offer you, um, look down in the caption of this. I'll, I'll drop some links. And if you have any questions, please let me know. You can find me at ashley at showupfitness.com. You can also find me on Instagram, the.ashley.garcia. And uh, happy studying. Bye.